All right, PE file format. Let's talk about the PE file format and what that is. So the PE file format tells Windows how to load and execute a program. So the PE file format is essentially an EXE program, but it's the code behind the EXE program. It basically tells Windows like, hey, this is the architecture of an EXE program, and this is how you load, and this is how you execute that program. We have a couple of things in the, the PE file format that includes the in, uh, includes info, which is in the header. That includes things like when it was created, what it can do from a from a capability standpoint. If it is packed or not, packed just means that the file is compressed internally, compressed or not. Uh, and then the language of the creator. Uh, the language of the creator that sounds like uh, I don't know, like something out in the <laughs> in the world or something. No, it just means like the la the default language of the compiler. Uh, when they say creator. So uh, default language is a compiler, uh, English or whatever that lang default language may be. So that is the PE file format. What we have on the side is really uh, the file structure and how that looks like. Uh, you have your header. Uh, on your header, you have the type of file it is, MZ. If you ever see MZ in the header, that means it's a PE file. Uh, so if you open up a file in a hex editor, uh, or if you open up uh, in a, an executable, uh, if you ever open up an executable in a in Notepad or something, or any other hex editor, you'll see right in the header there's an MZ. The file starts with an MZ. That always means it's a Windows executable file. MZ is actually just the initials of a of uh, one of the original DOS programmers for Microsoft. Uh, he had to we had to use a hexadecimal name. He used his initials. Uh, it worked out well for him. Um, normally, that's very easy to see. That's how files are identified as executables by looking at the hex of the file and uh, seeing an MZ in the header. Once again, the MZ of the header usually means it's a PE file, but the, you have to look at the rest of the structure of the PE, including the PE header, uh, code section, and data section.